Hey there, everybody. This is Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and president of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce, coming to you again with another one of our super popular Zoom chats that we have with members of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And today I have with us one of our board members and also a long-term member of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. It is Tabitha Rossman from Tabitha Rossman Photography. How you doing, Tabitha? You doing well? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, you know, right around the holidays, we start seeing a lot of, uh, you know, ideas for gifts and we always kind of are hurting for, for, for gifts for the holidays. But this is a great time for folks to have photo memories of their special occasions. And so as a photographer who's been doing this for a long time and you've got a lot in your portfolio, what are some of the ways that folks can capture their special moments? You know, we think about portraits happening but there are other things that people can do um other than booking a portrait um i do offer uh custom puzzles if they have a loved one that likes um how to, to do puzzles um as well as um just prints if they want to have prints to hang in their house or on their wall to kind of show off kind of like their their family and that also, you know, there, there are things that, you know, we think of during, I'm thinking of like for businesses, you know, they have holiday parties typically going on. Mm -hmm. This is a great opportunity for them to have that covered. And then they can use that for their social media throughout the entire year. Uh, there are all sorts of different things. It's not just for people who want to get pictures of them uh, or pictures of their pups and their animals, which is something that you do. You've taken uh, pictures of mm -hmm. our tortoise and our turtles, uh, you know, and so we want to try and encourage people to think just kind of outside of just the standard headshot, which are always really good for professional purposes. Uh, but when we think about like for the holidays, as we're talking about today, not only family portraits, but activities, um, you know, one thing that you do is you put uh, pets on puzzles. Yeah. And that's super yeah. cute because the Dalmatian that you took of the firehouse was just the cutest little bug. Mm -hmm. in yeah. So um yeah um I apologize I have so much going on um for the holidays uh that's great yeah, that's a um, good place to be I uh sometimes I get um I am allowed to do certain things in certain locations but I do have to ask permission before I just show up <laughs> well that leads um, in, that leads into our next question because there is some planning that has to be done when somebody does a photo shoot. And sometimes, uh, you know, as somebody who's not, uh, not the level of photographer that you are, but certainly understands about lighting, um, what are some of the things that people can think of uh, that they need to keep in mind when it comes down to ensuring that they have a really good experience with their photo shoot? Um, I always make sure if it's, during the like they want to shoot during the day um that they we that it's right around what we call the golden hour so around uh let me say 3 30 to like four o'clock because at this point right now around five o'clock it's already getting dark um in that way we we use up the most lighting that we have on top of maybe getting in some of those sunset photos as well um and the light's not as harsh on the family or like whoever it is that I'm photographing um you've got good lighting there well and yeah and the golden hour I mean I've heard that from from for many many years is that it's where the the light isn't as bright you're not going to be squinting if you're the subject um, but there's mm -hmm. something really rich about the light at that time where it's a warm light it's not one that's going to wash people out in their photos. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's really nice for bringing up color because it's not such a, a, a really bright light. But there's also something about like the clothes that you wear and the location uh, that you're you're shooting. And so can you kind of talk a little bit about that? So earth tone colors are more appropriate for sessions. If they're real bright like red, you're sitting there trying to tone down the red because you're too bright. So you want more earth tones, pastels, um, stuff that are, um, 
try to avoid as much black as possible. Um, what does black do in a photo? It kind of, it doesn't look right. I had somebody, I had a client once that I guess they wanted to tone down their figure and didn't help much. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and with black, you're either, you're trying to lighten up the subject or you're trying to tone it down and you want to show everything so you could easy easily hide important i want to say important features in the photo when you're wearing all black and you're kind of like you don't want to mask that <laughs> right you want to show off what's going on and not hide anything well i can see like maybe some people might want to use it for slimming because we all know that the camera adds 10 extra pounds uh to everything but like you could wear like a black outfit but with a colorful not a red but with a colorful top and that would still be accepted, yeah. right? Yeah. And then there's like it's not all black, like you're going uh, to a funeral. Well, and then there's also like location because sometimes, you know, you may think that like, I mean, the monument is always something that's a really popular backdrop for a lot of photos. And I know that you do photos out there, um, but you also want to make sure that the location is not too busy, right? Because if you're photographing like a family, you want to make sure that they're not at, May, at, at the farmer's market during the day uh, and take yeah. that photo because of all the stuff that's that's there in the background. And so you also want to keep in mind location, but you provide like like tips and like suggestions on that. Yeah. Um, if there's a few people, especially like out at White Sands, it's usually fine because I can Photoshop them out of the background. Um, if it's a lot of people, then that's kind of hard to do. <laughs> um, yeah. But Otherwise, I try to Photoshop people that aren't supposed to be in your image out of the photo. Mm -hmm. Well, as we finish up, I mean, you you offer um, you're offering a discount to Green Chamber members um, to do that, uh, to have, you know, a special discount of 10 percent. And and this is where we start getting into like, you know, a lot of businesses don't necessarily think about ways to have professional photos taken. Um, but there are a number of things that they can have that you can offer uh, as a member of the Green Chamber that you're giving it as a 10% discount. What do businesses, what, what do photographs bring to businesses? Um, it kind of, it either gets people to want to buy from them or it gets people to want to go to that individual because either they look in headshots, either they look professional, they look approachable. And they just, they, they would like to go and use that individual or, um, or go to that agency, especially if they have decent photos that are used. Um, if it looks non-professional, it can kind of look just like not very good. And not, and not prepared, not, and not thought of. and Yeah. Well, and I think of like, you know, some of the places that we've got that, they may have not necessarily the best lighting for their iPhone to take a picture of, and they may not have a professional camera, but if they want to highlight their, their products, that that's always a good opportunity to do as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, There's a lot you can do with it. Well, and, you, and I think you were kind of alluding to this when you were talking about the headshots is that, you know, we don't think of like, I think of like, especially people in who wear uniforms as, you know, it certainly conveys some kind of professionalism, but it also, you can capture in a photo, like the personality of somebody. And you had mm -hmm. mentioned this before, it's like, oh, I want to do business with that person, you know, or at least I want to talk to them because they look approachable. Yeah. So those Pretty are, those much. are, yeah. Um, and so um, we're offering, you're offering a 10% discount for Green Chamber members if they want to take photos uh, during this time as a member of the Green Chamber. It's a member to member benefit. We're very grateful for that. And so if you're a business that like needs some professional photos, or if you're trying to get something as a holiday gift, I mean, I'm thinking of like a calendar of your family, because um, Tabitha can do those special orders. If you come to our next Green Drinks, uh, you'll be able to to get into the the running for one of Tabitha's amazing photographs that have been uh, created into a puzzle. 
Um, and so there are a bunch of different options on how to really maximize the photos that Tabitha would take for you. And so if you're interested in that, you'll be able to find Tabitha's contact information either above or below, all depending on how you're able to do that. But I would recommend that if you want to do that, that you book today because your calendar's filling up, right, Tabitha? Yes. Um, I'm got two, I got a holiday party I'm helping with on Friday, a session Saturday, same thing next week. <laughs> so That's always I need, great. Uh, I, so yeah, the, my calendar's booking. <laughs> that's, that's great. But we, but if you're interested in it, make sure you contact Tabitha, try and get that done so that you can get on her calendar and that you can get your photos in a timely manner or as close as possible to after the holidays, all depending on when you book them. Cause sometimes we do that last minute and we don't want to do that. Uh, but Tabitha, it's lovely talking to you. Thank you so much for all your work that you do with the photos. Um, we're going to have a, a great time at our green drinks. And uh, if you'd like to go ahead and take advantage of that member to member discount as a green chamber member, you'll go ahead and you'll contact Tabitha. Tabitha, it's great seeing you. And uh, I look forward to seeing the photos on your Facebook page of all that you get to take. So I'm very excited about that as well. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Tabitha. Bye. <laughs>